All right, section 6.5, this is our last um, little foray here into mixture problems as we go. So mixture problems, first of all, they're like total value problems in the fact that we have a quote unquote formula. And what we're doing here is we're doing a percent of blank equals blank or is blank. And the percent is the percent of a thing in a mixture. So percent of a certain thing. And in chemistry problems, a lot of times these are um, certain chemical compounds, um, hydrochloric acid, or we have alcohols, or different things like that. And this is of, and this is the volume that we're dealing here, dealing with here. And then the last thing, what it's going to give us is the actual amount. So this is the amount of pure um, stuff, I'll call it, okay? So this first one is the percent of that stuff. And then what we get is the amount of pure stuff. And so what we're gonna have, um, this is certain stuff here. And so what we're going to have is we're going to have this idea of a multiplication problem. And this time, instead of a um, dollars per, we're going to have a percentage problem. And so the percentage problem times the volume, and that's going to give us the pure stuff. So let's just talk about having some um, cups of coffee here. So we're going to say, okay, we've got the cups of coffee and here's one cup of coffee here right like this and this one and this one are different sizes and in each of these cups of coffee we're going to have a certain amount of coffee in each of them right so in here we have liquid and liquid here the amount of liquid in here is the volume in the big one and the amount of liquid here is the volume in the small one here. Now in this one here, there are little particles of coffee floating around. And then in this one over here, there's little particles of coffee floating around as well. And the particles of coffee in this one, um, these little particles here, contribute to the percent of um, coffee in this mixture and the little particles over here give us a percent of coffee in the other mixture over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these both and we're going to dump them into some big vat down here. So they're both going to go in here. And so now we're going to have a volume in here which is the volume of the small one plus the volume of the big one and that's going to be our total volume this time around. So this is going to be a total. And then inside here are all these little particles of coffee that came from this one and all the particles of coffee that came from this one. And that's going to be the uh, same. So the pure from the small one plus the pure from the big one, because that's what we're talking about. Pure is coffee, right? And that's going to be a total over here as well. And these two things are what's going to give us our two equations. And then this, that's the percent of, is what's going to help us to find this entire thing. So this is going to be a new um, percent of the volume. And that is what allows us to calculate these problems and make them turn out okay. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to um, we're going to set up one of these problems and see how it works. You see I still have a table going along here. I'm going to have, like the grocery store problem, um, one thing and another added together to make a mixture and then the amount of the solution in each of them, the volume in each of them, and then the strength which is the percentage and then I'm going to talk about the amounts of pure and that table is going to work the exact same way as before. The amounts, the volumes of the solution um, and the amounts of pure, those two things are going to add up and give me um, some equations in order to solve. So I'll see you in the next video for actual an actual problem.